we present a novel bi-level optimization method which can be used for robust manipulation with external contacts. Manipulators with simple grippers can use external contacts for additional dexterity. In this work, we present the use of bi-level optimization to ensure robustness for manipulation using external contacts as could be seen in these teaser videos. Our work is motivated by dexterous grasping. Two-fingered grippers cannot always grasp objects, for example, when the size of the object is larger than the opening of the gripper. Furthermore, a simple grasp may not be suitable for a downstream task. For example, the robot may not be able to perform insertion as shown in this video. However, robots can make use of non-prehensile manipulation with external contacts and then grasp objects in the desired pose during a task. We consider pivoting manipulation where an object makes two contacts with the external environment. As a simplification, we consider a two-dimensional version of the problem as shown in this figure. As seen here, the object makes two contacts with the external environment and one contact with the manipulator. An important point to note here is that the object makes slipping contact with the environment at both these points. The manipulator, however, can select to maintain sticking or slipping contact with the object during manipulation. We expect robots to interact and reason about uncertainty during planning. There could be various sources of uncertainty like the inertial and the frictional parameters that a planning algorithm should be able to incorporate during planning. However, the pivoting manipulation considered in this paper requires slipping contact formation at the external contact which leads to equality constraints for the friction cone at these contacts. These equality constraints make the robust formulation challenging for pivoting manipulation. To formulate the robust optimization problem, we try to understand the quasi-static mechanics of pivoting manipulation. We observe that since the friction forces can change depending on the normal reaction from the object, any given quasi-static equilibrium can be robust to some degree of external disturbances. Since this stability is provided by friction, we call this as the frictional stability margin. To understand this a bit more clearly, let's consider the case when the mass estimate of the object is uncertain. Let's assume for a moment that the actual mass of the object is less than the known mass. Under some circumstances, the friction forces can adjust from the nominal to maintain static equilibrium as well as the two external contacts with the extrinsic environment. Similarly, if the actual mass is more than the known mass, the friction forces can redistribute to maintain static equilibrium while maintaining contacts with the two external points. Thus, friction can compensate for uncertainty to some degree and we call this as the frictional stability margin. More formally, given a quasi-static equilibrium of the object together with the friction cone constraints, we can compute the frictional stability margin for the given configuration by solving an optimization problem as shown here. It is noted that this margin depends on the configuration of the object and the robot as well as the contact forces exerted by the robot. The margin changes over a manipulation trajectory of the object and thus we can find the minimum margin over a given manipulation trajectory. Now using this idea, we propose a bi-level optimization method to perform robust optimization. In the proposed bi-level optimization method, the lower level optimization optimizes the frictional stability margin for a given quasi-static equilibrium of the object. The upper level optimization problem then optimizes the trajectory for manipulation. Once we solve this optimization, we will now get a new trajectory and based on that, you will get another trajectory of stability margin. Then the question is, can we jointly optimize these two optimization problems to have more robust control? Our proposed bi-level optimization aims to optimize these two optimization problems simultaneously. We formulate the lower level optimization problem as linear programming. One can convert the lower level optimization problem with nonlinear constraints using KKT conditions. The resulting optimization problem can then be solved efficiently using off the shelf solvers like IPOPT. We present several different numerical results in the paper. Please check our paper for more discussion on the topic. Here we present results of hardware experiments with different objects, with different geometry and physical properties. 
as could be seen from these videos, our proposed method is able to generate feasible trajectories that can satisfy friction cone constraints at the different contact formations during the pivoting manipulation. To show generalization of our proposed method, we evaluate the proposed method on a large variety of objects as could be seen in these videos. Apart from having different geometry, these objects have also different physical properties. Our method is able to compute feasible trajectories for this large number of objects and thus we believe that it can be used for pivoting manipulation for a large number of daily use objects. To conclude our video, we would like to highlight some of the main contributions of this work. We present the concept of frictional stability of pivoting manipulation under various sources of uncertainty. We present a contact implicit bi-level optimization framework which can be used for solving robust trajectories for pivoting manipulation tasks. The proposed method is also demonstrated on a large variety of objects using a stiffness controller of a position controlled manipulator. We hope that this will lead to more interesting robust manipulation work in the future. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at the email provided here. Also, you can access our initial conference paper using the QR code provided here. Thanks for watching our video.